for us scratching here and that's my horse slash he's three years old stallion so i decide uh, that's kind of very interesting journey i try to challenge myself i decide because slash have his own page on my website and I decide to challenge my horsemanship, to challenge myself if I have enough knowledge to educate performance horse. And my fear, I mean, I'm going to be very honest with you, nothing to hide and etc. Yes, I have a business with uh, Raskash and Kozak horsemanship and I share my knowledge with people by travel and trade shows and clinic seminars and online education and etc. And I have very, very strong, very strong foundation and intercommunication program. And I can educate horse to be very, very safe mentally and physically. And I can educate horse to ride very well. But I got to this point in my life by working very hard the last 15 years and try to find, try to find methods and uh, ideas how to educate a horse and combine everything together so I can educate a performance horse because that's what I truly love to do. I'm very competitive person in the sport and I compete. So that's in my, in my genes, I just love to compete. And I think, I think I find the right horse finally because I rode many horses in my life. <laughs> and when I started to get a slash and when I started to ride under saddle, he showed me his potential, like unbelievable. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. So I try to challenge myself and see if I can truly educate performance reigning horse because it's, it's what I love to do. I would love to show a reigning cow horse and I would love to show reigning horses. That's, I think it's a, it's a high level of the, of the horse education because in my opinion, it's the same as a dressage education that involves a lot of, a lot of education and understand horse, how to connect and develop muscle memory, flexibility and connect mental to the horse. So it's a very, very hard event and only few people in the world succeed in a, in a, in a high level. So that's, that's my life, that's what I truly want to achieve in my life. Uh, because I achieve a lot of goals with my horsemanship, but I got to this point I truly want to uh, educate performance horse. So slash finish all, he fallen asleep. <laughs> So slash finish all foundation intercommunication education. The way how we're gonna put all these videos about such education, I'm gonna put on his page. So we're gonna have a journey when I start him performance education to the final, if I succeed, to see if I can take him to the show world and show him actually. So the, the way how we're gonna put videos together I'm, I, you're going to see all reality. I'm not going to cut nothing. I want to see what it takes to take, to educate the horse, how much knowledge, how much hard work you need. Uh, you can see frustration, my frustration, horse frustration. You're going to see success, I hope, in the end. Uh, we're going to have a good time, I hope. <laughs> and we're going to have a lot of, a lot of hard work, but we, we will succeed, I believe so. So before I start to educate Slash right now, uh, I start every day, every day, I'm going to stop right now. I'm not going to explain you all details, all method by method. If you want to truly understand how I educate horses, you can go to Virtual Education through Grid Academy online. And I share in you step by step, method by method, how to hold your hands, how to move your hips, what kind of apply cues to your horse, so horse really understand you, what kind of speed, so everything broke actually on the, on the small pieces. But here I'm just gonna show you roughly, and I go, I'm gonna talk through the video, but I will not gonna explain the small, small details. So before I start to educate the horse, I truly believe on the, on the, on the horse neck muscle, and after it's connect everything to, to the horse body, shoulders, ribcage, and hindquarters, I don't believe 
I said many times, and I proved myself for last 15 years, uh, I don't believe in pressure in release. I, I think we have to develop muscle memory, flexibility, and after everything, you're going to connect to horse body and stay still in the forward motion. So before I start, and in this flexibility of the neck, I actually learned from Francois Bauchet, who designed dressage. He was French horseman and in, in the 17th century. So I read his book and I apply this method. I learned the method from him to flex neck from the left and right side. In the 18th century was amazing French horseman, great horseman, so Abouche, who designed and invent methods flexibility in the horse neck muscle from the left and right side. Many years ago, he realized we can communicate with horse, not through the horse mouth. We can communicate with horse through the horse neck muscles to connect all muscles, shoulders, rib cage, spine, hindquarters to the horse neck muscle and develop flexibility in the horse and the flexibility in the horse muscles through the whole horse body. But he educate with pressure and release and I educate with muscle memory. So it's, it's timing. So when I pick up my rein, I increase in timing on a, on a physical movement. That's a physical movement because he using his, his, uh, his neck right now. So I increase in timing in the physical movement and just stay still longer and longer so I don't feel the horse at all. And every day when I start this, every day when I start this, that's how I practice with my horse. That's like you wake up in the morning and you move your neck left and right, ne left and right. So horse have to learn how to be flexible. But this exercise actually without forward motion, absolutely useless. Because it's same like a not useful, useless. Because horse can stay still and be flexed, but when he go in the forward motion, you, you face the wall. So it exi exists other exercises how to develop. That's just starting point. Right here, beautiful. And again, not jerking on his face. I just pick up, hold. Again, come back and say again, don't believe in pressure and release and aggressive education. Everything very, very, a lot of time, a lot of quality of education. Spend time till this become very, very nice and flexible. Not soft, flexible. Right here, beautiful and release. A lot of relaxation from the physical movement. That's a physical movement. That's a physical exercise. A lot of relaxation. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna. That's that's actually standing exercises. Every day I practice this. So. When, I, when he's staying still, I'm going to say with my spurs, and he's frustrated now with tail, and that's okay. He has to learn not to do this, because if my horse is going to travel to the left, he has to arch with both reins I touch him. He go to the left right here, right now. So it starts everything from the stay still, and after it's going to go in a forward motion. Beautiful, right here. Right here, right here, beautiful. And I don't want to lean with his, with his uh, face on this beat. I want his truly arch himself in the pool. That's what I want to see. Again, pick up and I hold. I'm not hitting him with my spurs. I just tap in and say, pick up your ribcage. Pick up your ribcage. Beautiful. And release. That's what... Timing does actually in the physical movement. I hold and I hold and I hold and hold. why I'm holding? Developing muscle memory. And again, pick up. And each exercise connect to another exercise. That's already the third exercise right now. That's my lead changes right now gonna be in the future. That's gonna be my backup. That's my spin gonna be. That's my stop gonna be. If he doesn't know how to change the snack and stay still, he will never gonna do this in the forward motion and he will never gonna do this actually with other physical movements. Beautiful. And release him right here, right now. Very nice. Beautiful. Very good. So when I pick up, I don't want to have resistance. I want to ride away nice and very flexible. So I just 
playing games like this with him. When I pick up, because anytime I'm going to ride him, anytime I'm going to ride him, when I'm going to pick up the reins, he has to be very flexible on this neck. He, he cannot be stiff because then I'm going to face the problems right here. Beautiful. Very good. And release. So not just make him upset. So the way how I build my lessons, I'm going to stop and share with you a little bit. The way how I build my lesson, three days of the week I practice flexibility in the neck, forward motion, guiding, spinning, teach him to spin, and after teach him to stop. And another three days I practicing lead changes, guiding, balance and coordination, forward motion, and etc. So that's how we're going to practice today. We're just going to practice today in the forward motion, guide, be flexible in the neck, turn around, and stop. Beautiful. Very nice. So he done pretty cool right now and stay still all this. Again, when I tap, I want to drop his head. Beautiful, right here. When I pick up, drop your head. Because when I gonna, if I gonna go to the show pen, when I go in the middle, and I gonna tap with my legs, I want he staying still, right here. Now he's upset, frustrated, I said no. Stay still, learn patience, right here, beautiful. And now we're going to ask him to actually trial forward motion. So next exercise, the way how we're going to practice, we're going to separate the neck from the shoulders, rib cage, and etc. We're just going to teach him to travel in forward motion and be very, very flexible on this neck. I'm using all the time my legs. That's why he's switching tail because he have to learn how to pick up his rib cage and travel. So a lot of straight lines and change direction. When I change in direction, I pick up my rein towards, towards my, my belly button, towards the horn, because I elevate the shoulders up. So he learning already to travel and be straight. Because if I'm going to start to teach him travel like this, I teach him to lean to the left, I teach him to lean to the right. I want him, I want him to truly understand how to change his direction, keep this, keep this nose inside, not lean on the shoulder. And everything starts from walk. Again, open up my left leg, Pick up your left rein, ask him right here, and this is his weak part. He's leaning all the time on this left shoulder. I'm going to say continue travel, very good. Change here, beautiful. Spent a lot of time on this. Pick up, pick up, I want to be very, very flexible on this neck. Every, every time I pick up the rein, I squeeze with my legs. It means pick up your rib cage. Pick up your rib cage. Learn how to keep the shape. And young horses, they're going to get frustrated. And Not really. Right here. Beautiful. Very nice. Again, pick up here. Open up my left leg. Continue travel. Right here, nice. Pick up more. Hold the shape again. Continue travel straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. And again, change. Continue travel. Spent a lot of time on this and release. I want to hear all the time keeping arch his neck, not raising his head up in the air. Right now, he speed up. So I'm going to change direction. I'm going to say, change direction. Don't speed up. Learn how to keep the shape and not fall apart. Beautiful. I'm gonna stop him right here. We're gonna ask a couple steps back. Be flexible and step back right here. Beautiful. Very nice. Stay still. Now relaxation. Very important relaxation. <clears throat> Stay still and relax. 